Back in the 1950s, an artist named Giovanni Bragolin created a series of paintings known as The Crying Boy. As the name suggests, these paintings all consisted of young boys crying. Bragolin painted more than 60 of these paintings, and until the early 80s, these paintings continued to be reprinted and sold. The painting became very popular, especially in the UK, where over 50,000 of these paintings were sold. In 1985, a British tabloid newspaper called The Sun published a story with the headline, Blazing Curse of the Crying Boy. The story was about a couple from Rotherham named Ron and May Hall. A chip pan caught fire and spread to the rest of their house. Despite all the damage caused by the fire, the only thing that remained undamaged was the crying boy painting that they left in their house. Furthermore, a firefighter in Rotherham claimed that he had seen at least 15 house fires in which one of the only things that was not burned was the crying boy painting. Later on, the Sun made a follow-up article detailing the many reports of the other people who claimed to fall victim to the curse of the crying boy painting. Eventually, this got so out of hand that the Sun told everyone who was concerned about the painting to send it to them so they could destroy it. On Halloween, a huge bonfire was held to burn all the paintings of the crying boy in hopes to get rid of the curse. There were even other weird methods to get rid of the curse such as hanging a picture of a crying girl next to the crying boy painting. Several stories began to circulate about why this painting was cursed. Some stories said the painting came from a gypsy family that put a curse on it, while others claimed the child died in a fire and a spirit was trapped in the painting. One of the most popular stories is about a child named Don Benio, who was adopted by the artist who made the picture. Benio was known as the Devil Child because there would always be a mysterious fire that broke out wherever he went. One day, the artist's house burned down, and the artist kicked Benio out of the family, believing he was responsible. Years later, just outside of Barcelona, a car crashed into a wall and caught fire. The driver died and was burned past the point of recognition. The officers investigating the crash found his ID in the glove compartment and identified him as Don Benio. According to the legend, his memories haunted the crying boy painting. Since this whole event happened, People have looked into this in an attempt to find an explanation behind all of this. As mentioned before, thousands of these paintings were sold, and they weren't too uncommon to find inside of someone's house. For this reason, some believe it was all a coincidence. The fire just happened to break out normally, and because the painting happened to be in a lot of these houses, people saw the pattern. Fire service investigations further support this theory by pointing out that all these fires had a straightforward explanation such as faulty electricity or people carelessly discarding cigarettes. One thing that is not explained by this, however, is why in all these fires, the paintings always survived, mostly unscathed. The chief divisional officer of the South Yorkshire Fire Service revealed that the Crying Boy painting was printed on high-density hardboard, which is difficult to set fire to. In addition, a British writer on a BBC program called Punt P.I. investigated this by setting fire to one of the paintings, and it didn't burn. Uh, in order to enhance the scientific credibility of this test, we're actually filming this. It's quite a big flame. The flame is now about two feet high. The painting had a hole in it from where the fire had touched it, but the flames hadn't spread. But you'd have to say that fire is pretty much going out. He believed this is because the paintings may have been coated with a varnish containing fire repellent. I'd also like to add that if the painting is cursed, it must not work all the time since there are people now that have had the painting for a while and claim that nothing bad has happened to them. Seeing all the natural explanations for how this all could have happened makes it pretty easy to consider that nothing paranormal was going on here at all. Still, it would be interesting to compare the frequency of house fires at the time before the paintings were burned and the time after the paintings were burned. What do you think? Is this painting truly cursed or is there a natural explanation? Thank you for watching and I will see you on the flip side.